Wouldn't it be nice to have a pop-up or a conditional call to action that displays only for the most engaged users on your site? Good news for you, we can do this with the Google Tag Manager. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Google Tag Manager to fire pop-ups that show up only for super engaged people. So now I'm going to show you the settings for this pop-up. First of all, this pop-up shows after seven seconds the user has loaded the page. But there is a bunch of conditions here for which the pop-up does not show because we don't want it to show on certain pages. But you see session duration greater than 30 seconds and then cookie page count it has to be greater than or equal to three so this means the user has seen three or more pages now these are uh, variables both session duration and cookie page count that are set in google tag manager so for this thing to work you have to um, build up the logic that writes this to variables and then you can use the variables in the configuration of your pop-ups or custom call to actions in Google Tag Manager. So what I'm going to do now I will do everything or the configuration and you can just watch me doing it and you learn how to do it yourself. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to create a new folder and I will call this um, session stats so create so i keep every variable and tag uh, in a folder i don't mix up things and then i'm going to create uh, a variable so the first variable i need to create is yeah, so new it's going to be i will call this um data layer data layer dash gtm start and this variable will just contain the time the timestamp where when gtm was started when the session was started uh, don't forget to put this in the right folder okay so go here and take data layer variable and here you write gdm dot start and that's your variable there is nothing else to do here okay save so the second thing i'm going to do i'm going to create another variable and uh, this variable will be a cookie and it will be called uh, gdm start put it in the folder and this is just a, a first party cookie so the name of the cookie will be gdm start okay as simple as that now we need to uh, write this cookie so there will be a tag that does that but this is just a variable that reads the value of the cookie and stores it inside google tag manager so save now we have the variable fine now next thing we do is to create a tag and this tag new it its name will be session set start and put it in the folder this will fire on every page and it will be a custom html tag quite much of thing to copy here so this uses uh, the variable we just created and the data layer variable we the first one we created okay so and what it does basically goes to check if there is a cookie if there isn't it takes the the information from the data layer otherwise it takes it from the cookie and it sets uh, it resets the cookie to expire in 30 minutes so 
when the session will end the cookie will expire and we know that the user uh, the session has expired okay this is uh, basically the session stays alive uh, on Google Analytics by default 30 minutes so if your user leaves but comes back within 30 minutes the cookie is, is still there and we count it as uh, a session okay one session instead of two sessions if you use uh, only the information that is in the data layer this would disappear when the user closes the window okay if the user closes the window but it comes back after 10 minutes that's still the same session in analytics okay so we want to track that and that's why we are using this cookie here so save now you have this now let's go back to the folder and see what happened here we have uh, created so far the data layer variable we have created the cookie no, we have, we have created the variable for the cookie and we are setting the cookie in, in this, okay? So at this point, we have all the information we need to calculate the duration of the session. How do we do that? We make another variable. So variables, the name is session duration. Don't forget to put it in the folder. And this time is a custom JavaScript. And this is the code that goes inside, okay? So this uh, uh, variable will load the cookie. So we read the time that is written inside the cookie. It will create a date. It will get the time, the current time from that date. And then it will make the difference with the time uh, in the cookie which is the starting time of the session. And it returns the time in seconds of duration of the current session, okay? So that's it, save. So at this point, if we go back uh, in folders, we have four items here. And the one we are using uh, in the trigger of the pop-ups or whatever you want to use it for is this session duration okay when you call this all oh, the this one and this one you no know, this fires on every uh, pay, page view and basically it refreshes this cookie here so when you call this variable from the trigger it will read this value and it will calculate the session duration you have it always updated Okay, that's super cool. Now we'll do sort of the same thing with page count. And that's a little bit easier because uh, we just uh, make an incremental counter based on a cookie. Let's start uh, with a variable. A variable would be a first party cookie. Uh, this is the name of the cookie, page count, like that. So this will be, I call it, cookie page count I like to keep the same name of the cookie here so I don't go crazy don't forget to put session starts as a folder so now this is set save and then we have a tag so new tag this tag will fire on old pages and the name of the tag will be session page count and we put it in the folder here session start now we create this uh, is a custom html and now we put in here the script for generating and updating the cookie with a page count. So this takes the variable here and increments it by one at every page load, okay? It's very easy. Again, the, the expiration time is still 30 minutes, so it expires with the session. And so as simple as that, save. So go back in the folders, now we have six items. There you go two are for the page count and 
four are for the session duration. The only one, the only two we are going to use in the triggers are session duration and page count. Now, just to show you, I can create a trigger. This stuff is really cool. You have to implement it on your site. It really converts well. Now, just to show you, I can create a trigger. I call it uh, pop-up engaged. And the trigger configuration will be, uh, I like to do it with timers and I like to take some seven seconds, one time limit, it fires just once. You, you shouldn't put here um, too big of a number because if you put 30 seconds, it might be that the user will not stay on that one page for 30 seconds so this pop-up will not fire to you need to be reasonably sure that the pop-up fires so i put seven seconds because i'm quite sure that the user will stay on the page at least seven seconds okay this can be 10 15 it depends on your on your case so you decide since you are still watching this i would like to ask you to put a like on this video because you obviously like it, otherwise you wouldn't be watching, right? Uh, and this helps uh, other people to find this video as well, because uh, if you like it, you know, YouTube will show it more to others. Now, enable this trigger when all these conditions are true. And here we can, if you click here, you can go pick uh, your variables. So you will pick page count is greater than or equal to and I put three so I want this pop-up to fire only if the user has seen at least three pages plus I'm using the session duration here so session duration is greater uh, than or equal to for example I don't know 20 seconds or I would say even more so for example, user has been on the site for one full minute and he has browsed at least three pages, then when he loads the next page, the one that makes three page views, right? After seven seconds, he will get this pop-up. So go back if you need to and watch each step as I do it, but make sure you do these things on your Google Tag Manager so you can start popping up uh, pop-ups uh, at the right time not not for everyone these are noise people don't do that so you pop pop-ups only in front of the right people so that's it for this one if you want to learn more go ahead and watch the next video